So, next question is when doing the mandala offering, we are told to offer all the beautiful things in the universe. So, why would one offer negative things like our enemies and objects of our aversion? So, number first thing, when you are doing a mandala offering, you are told to offer beautiful things in the universe. What do you offer? What is considered beautiful to you? Is a roast chicken in a mandala beautiful? Is roast chicken in a mandala beautiful? Or a <coughs> or a bowl or, or, or pizza in a mandala beautiful? Is it beautiful? Huh? Maybe uh maybe roast turkey in a mandala beautiful? Nasi lemak in mandala beautiful? Huh? You just imagine you go to you go to Mongolia or Siberia or go to Tibet, go to natural, beautiful, na natural, fully natural place. Is it beautiful? Now try to add one roast turkey there. Huh? Uh, add, add, add something that man made there. Is it beautiful? After you add something man made, is it beautiful? Huh? Or just allow things to be natural. So when we talk about beautiful things, and when we talk about aversion, things that you like and you don't like, you look at the heavens and look at the Mother Earth, look at the skies, look at the universe. If we look in out, out there in outer space, what is beautiful and what is ugly? It is all the same. Our mind, when we are offering a mandala, the main thing is to let go of judgmentalism, let go of wants, and let go of of uh, don't wants. <laughs>